We condemn in the strongest possible terms this egregious display of hatred, bigotry, and violence on many sides. On many sides. Hello, lovely people of the internet. I is I, the kid. And today, we are going to be talking about, well, Charlottesville, because I wanted to talk about Google, but I'll do that in another video. But today, I want to talk to you about Charlottesville real quick, because that was the most recent event that happened. It happened last week. Uh, just a sh bunch of shady shit that happened, basically. And all I gotta say is that, um, this is what happens when you mix a mongoose and a fucking cobra together. This is what happens when you mix a fucking clown and a mime in the same room. This is what happens when you put fucking fascist communists against actual fascists, excuse me, actual Nazis just tired of being called racist and wanted to preserve history. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, basically, a group of people known as the alt-right Nazis and white supremacists, and I'm trying to think what else, people who were trying to preserve history were trying to make sure they were protesting the moving of the Robert E. Robert E. Lee? Robert E. Lee statue in Lee Park. In the so Lee Park. Uh, and basically what happened and what was going on down there was that these guys got permits and, you know, decided to protest permits, they get permission from the city and they get all this stuff. Before you say anything, yes, I know they're a bunch of white supremacists. Not all of them, they were just there to preserve history, that's all. And they were trying to preserve history and all this and all this stuff and they are just trying to do peaceful protest. Granted, they might have been Nazis, most of them been white supremacists. Maybe a couple of white nationalists, a couple of all writers, and maybe just a couple of conservatives worried about history. But guess who showed up to the party? And should be always condemned Antifa. Or as Donald Trump now put it, the old left. But you know what? God bless that man. Because he called them out who they are, the old left. And you know what something? Yeah, I'll just say this after this whole video go out. I'm glad he called them the old left because if the old right is going to be considered Nazis and all that shit, they get to be called out on their shit too. They're all turning to left and they're not friendly. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, here's a video of Sargon talking about this. Because it is. However, the media seems to have been afflicted by a temporary lapse in memory, so I'm going to remind them very briefly now exactly what he's talking about. This is Antifa, and Antifa can broadly be termed communists.
The left-wing journalists, who invariably identify as a form of socialist, are naturally remarkably sympathetic to communists. Yeah. They're pretty fucking violent. Like, that one guy got hit over the head with a bike lug. He was just trying to talk to that nice lady. And just this dude just came up and whacked him in the head. Thank luckily he got fucked. And they found him out. Thank you. Thank you. History, you know, people wanting to change history because it was racist. You know, let's turn this down because it's racist. This is bad. History is bad. No, this is racist. We need to erase this. We need to fight Nazis and fascism. Yes, yes. And then this is the worst part because you know what? Why did they, why did, why can't they? Uh, they have their protest. I grant they're Nazis and they you know have a right to speak, and I can't believe we're defending, you know, a bunch of white supremacist assholes, but they had a right to speak, they had a right to speak and say shit, and you know what, you could have protest yourselves by blaring, you know, rickrolling them, or I don't know, any fucking silly shit you could do, you know, Mel Brooks did the best protest, he made fun of the Nazis, no, but you guys, after punching Richard Spencer, I'm talking to you, Antifab, decided to punch him in the face. Punch Nazis in the face! Really, dude? Really? Violence? You know, eventually, one of the, it's going to resort to gun violence. It's going to resort to gun violence. Quote, because it's, it, this is what's going to happen. This is what's going to happen. I mean, for fuck's sakes, it's like, look. Look, history is full of bad shit, and Donald Trump talked about this. You know, George Thomas Jefferson was a slave owner. George Washington was a slave owner. You know, and now they're going to tear and they what? We're going to tear down their Washington monuments and shit like that, and their statues. Enough's enough. God damn it! Stop! Stop! I'm not praising Nazis. Nazis are fucking evil people. They are evil. So let's be honest. I mean. Every video game and every movie and every entertainment, Al Wolfenstein shows how fucking bad they are. But the alt-left, anti-left, the anti-fascist, or as I like to call them, the anti-First Amendment, because they want to censor hate speech. Yeah, we're fighting the system, we're fighting hate speech, we're gonna punch Nazis, we're gonna just, you know, we're gonna just use violence. Yeah, because apparently fascism, you know, you know, you're fighting fascism by using fascism. You know, I'm late to the party on this, but fuck, god damn it, just god damn it. And, and I, listen, uh, I'm just baffled by this shit, and it just got worse. Because there's been riots, there's been protests, and then there's been this thing about this fucking car scandal. This fucking, you know, people getting rammed by a car. You know, I, I'm not showing the video right now, but I, I, I think it's a false flag. That's my opinion. That's my opinion. I'll, I'll discuss that in another video. But God damn it. Hell, even Trump talked about this and discussed that most people were just... You know, he was condemning both violence on this. Both sides are at wrong here. The communist anti fab and the fucking Nazis are both fucking condemned. There's too much fucking hate going on. Loves to push the fucking agenda that everybody's a Nazi, so we get more fucking Nazis. It, it, it's it's fucking baffling. It's fucking baffling, and this is why guys like Richard Spencer uh, appear and never go away. Cause you want to call, and I'm talking to you, Mr. Fab, by the way, because you're anti First Amendment, but you claim to be anti-fascist by exposing fascism and making it stronger. You know, you're not doing what Mel Brooks did best, parodying the fucking. Nazis, making fun of the Nazis, making a joke, a mockery of them. Hell, you get offended by Nazi Hitler memes, but you don't get the joke. Hitler is dead. This is his hell. He has to be ridiculed as a joke. Hell, take a look at the movie Little Nicky where they shove a pineapple up Hitler's ass while he's dressed up in a fucking French maid's outfit. Irony, I do declare. Sakes, has anybody seen Preacher lately? They make Hitler in the biggest pussy of all time in that show. And fuck, there's a terrible, there's a twice bigger Nazi on that show than fucking Hitler. Jesus Christ, and Hitler's a fucking bad dude. We all know what he did wrong. Hitler did something wrong. Nobody's denying that. God damn, 
fuck. And I'm talking, fuck you Nazi bastards, all right? If they just left that statue alone and never touched it, and this is something I gotta say about the self, and this is something I gotta say about American history, we need to be reminded of what the past was about, why this happened, why we shouldn't have segregation, why we shouldn't erase it. Yes, the Robert E. Lee, all those fucking the Civil War people, the Confederates, that we claim to be the bad guys. We're not fighting just because of slavery. I'm sorry, black people, I'm sorry, but it wasn't just slavery. It wasn't just slavery. Look it up. It was about fucking, ta it was about fucking property rights. It was about resources. It was about owning membership of the land. It wasn't about just you. And yes, you were the part of it. Most of it was about something greater than you. Fuck. If anything, things got worse with that car hit. Just Jesus Christ, man. Jesus. I, I'm not. I'm not coherent on this, but the car, the guys getting hit by the car was the worst. You know, now they're blaming anti-fab and they're saying that's domestic terrorism, even though that Bernie bro was. You know, it's funny. The both those guys, the Bernie bro who shot the GOP at the at that uh, friendly baseball game, and the fucking guy who ran into all those people are both named James. You know, this is why I changed my name to Jack. By the way, Jack is. I'd rather be called that now. But fuck, it's it's fucking insanity. I'm, I'm starting to believe that fucking car crash was a false flag. I'm not saying, I'm, I'm gonna make another video about that, pulling out a few things I've seen lately. But you know what? This is something I'm just gonna say too. Why was anybody condemning, you know, Antifa? You know, that peaceful protest who were fighting the Nazis, the, 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 the media, the mainstream media, CNN, Cancer News Network. You know, who was praising as heroes and shit like that, or not condemning them. I mean, they cause property damage. Property damage. Payne yeah. said that the alt right is behind these attacks, and he linked that same group to those who perpetrated the attack in Charlottesville. Well, so I, I don't know. I can't tell you. I'm sure Senator McCain must know what he's talking about. Uh, but when you say the alt right, uh, define alt right to me. You define it. Go ahead. Well, I'm saying, as no, Senator, define it for me. Come on, let's go. Define Senator it. McCain defined them as the same group. Okay, what about the alt left that came okay. charging? At, excuse me. What about the alt left that came charging at the, as you say, the alt right? Do they have any semblance of guilt? This is Senator Senator what, let, let me ask you this. What about the fact they came charging, that they came charging with clubs in their hands, swinging clubs? Do they have any problem? I think they do. Sorry, so, you know, as far as I'm concerned, that was a horrible, horrible day. Wait a minute. I'm not finished. I'm not finished, fake news. That was a horrible day. I, I will tell you something. I watched those very closely, much more closely than you people watched it. And you have uh, you, you had a group on one side that was bad, and you had a group on the other side that was also very violent. And nobody wants to say that, but I'll say it right now. You had a group, you had a group on the other side that came charging in without a permit, and they were very, very violent. Go ahead. Do you think that the, what you call the alt-left is the same as neo-Nazis? Oh, those people, all of those people, excuse me, I've condemned neo-Nazis. I've condemned many different groups. But not all of those people were neo-Nazis, believe me. Not all of those people were white supremacists by any stretch. Those people were also there because they wanted to protest the taking down of a statue, Robert E. Lee. So, excuse me, and you take a look at some of the groups and you see, and you know it if you were honest reporters, which in many cases you're not, but many of those people were there to protest the taking down of the statue of Robert E. Lee. So, this week it's Robert E. Lee. I notice that Stonewall Jackson's coming down. I wonder, is it George Washington next week? And is it Thomas Jefferson the week after? You know, you, all, you really do have to ask yourself, where does it stop? But they were there to protest. Excuse me. You take a look the night before. They were there to protest the taking down 
of the statue of Robert E. Lee. Infrastructure question. Go ahead. You know, it's not fucking funny, all right? Like, look, I get it. You lost the election. You lost your little fucking, you know, your fucking easy street. But goddamn, fucking stop this. Stop it. All right? They are a violent group, and I will keep showing those images of them being violent, of that guy getting hit, hit over the head with a bicycle lock, that girl getting sprayed in the face at the Berkeley. Fucking Berkeley, for fuck's sakes, was torn the fuck down. It was burnt down. That's okay. But when it comes to fucking your special, like, but... Fuck. Fucking, I, I'm just baffled. I'm baffled by mainstream media that doesn't cover this shit. And I'm tired of talking about you know, mainstream media. I'm tired of the political bullshit. But Donald Trump's right when he called out the alt-left. They're fucking hypocrites. You know, he called them fake news and he talked about the alt-left. Those people down there, yes, had the permits to protest. You didn't like have to say, you could have walked away, all right? You know, this is this is my problem with this country. It's it's the fact that like I'm tired of just people just riding the same coattails of those who suffer. It is. It's the same. Be like stop riding on them and claiming that you need you need to erase that history. Eventually, we're gonna forget it and repeat it. This is just fucking insanity. It is. It is insanity. We're getting to the point of. Just no more violence. Let's let's really like I hope President Trump calls the alt left a fucking terrorist group. All right, you might as well fucking call the fucking KKK and the fucking Nazis and you know the white supremacist group as a fucking hate group too. Because you know what? Something or excuse me, not a hate group, a fucking terrorist group. Because you know what? Why not just condemn one when we condemn both? Because that would be a lot better. And I mean it. Condemn both sides. Fuck. Like, you want to get rid of hate? Get, get rid of both and see who lasts the longest. You know, if the fucking KKK and the Nazis give up, fine. But if the anti fab continues and continues, they are going to get their ass kicked. And they are a bunch of fucking liberal pussies who think they're fucking hot shit. Blaring their fucking rage against the machine going, Does that work? Resist, you know, resist Trump. What the fuck is Trump doing to you? He's not throwing gays in concentration camps. He's not fucking pushing people into fucking blenders and pushing them on parade. Also, I forgot to mention in my little uh, tirade there, um, when Infowars went down there, Antifab basically pepper sprayed the, those uh, reporters from Infowars, the two guys who were doing, uh, excuse me, the guy and girl, who were doing, you know, Fly By America, which is a really great series about how they're gonna go and do this. Let me start that over again. Basically, I forgot to mention in my little tirade right here that uh, reporters from Infowars, the people who are doing uh, Fly By Over America, or always, no, it's not Fly By Over America, it's uh, Fly Over America. Which is a show they talk about, like the forgotten, like the basically the the, 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 the the more of America, the men, the more in depth of America, you know, the, the inland of America, you know, like Ohio stuff like that, you know, the stuff that like we fly over, we just drive our cars through and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, they got attacked by an anti faver who was, he asked them and like screamed at them, I don't like being filmed! Well, if you act like an ass, you are gonna be filmed. And basically he retaliated by attacking them and pepper spraying the one dude. <laughs> and fucking, guess what the cops did? They just laughed. Why are the cops fucking not helping? In fact, what the fuck, George Saros? Why the fuck are you causing more problems for everybody? Eventually, your shit's gonna come out in the light. Sorry, it is. Hey, uh, my name is oh. Sucks. <laughs> you. Chill out, dude. Who's talking about? Chill out. Hit the worst. Hit the worst. I got your back.